Our Father and our God, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your understanding. Thank you for bringing us to this point in our lives. Thank you for your decision in our midst. We just want to ask you, O oh God, that that which you have done is perfect. But what remains? Please help us to work with you. Help us to finish our race well. Help us, Lord, to maximize our time. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank the Lord for the opportunity to see this again as a discipline of the Holy Spirit on our lives. It's difficult for me, but I have submitted to the will of God. I have begun to learn again that God's wisdom is not our own. And that God knows what he is doing. I know that several testimonies have been given about our brother. And several of you have been particularly blessed and touched. And I thank God for this. And as sure as I have had time to tell many stories. But this is not the time. I would just like to say three things quickly before I tie what I need to say with the word of God. I would like to quickly say that Joshua was a disciple. And not only that he was a disciple, he was an obedient disciple. Not only that he was obedient disciple, he was a fervent disciple. God had given me several disciples, and each of them are very unique. But Joshua, by the grace of God, stands in his own class because of his obedience. Sometimes I write to them, I say, thank you for being obedient. Sometimes you may not know how Precious it is when you have a disciple that obeys you. When it is to the pursuit of Christ. When Joshua felt God want him to move into ministry. After I have encountered them in the universities with some of his classmates who are here, I would like to say that I used to go to their fellowships, commission their escorts, and sit with them in very serious teaching sometime all night. Sometimes I 
and I see the hand of God in each of their lives. Several of them went into different directions. But when Joshua felt God wanted him to serve God, and he came and said, The Lord said, I must come and see you first. I asked him some three questions. Ask him, do you really want to follow Jesus? You don't follow a man like me if you don't want to follow Jesus. That the principle of life we stand for. We make you lonely. It will put you on a narrow path. Are you sure you want that? And Joshua knelt down again and said, Joshua That is what I want. That's why I came. I was living in the quarters that time, and there is a mountain behind that are hills. So I will take him up there. We'll sit. We can sit from morning to evening. Speaking about the mystery of serving God. Serving God selflessly. I began to show him how to build the work of God according to pattern. And he said, I want to follow it. And I thank God for all the years. He has not deviated. He had walked on that path. And at various points, I watched his obedience. I want to again stand to say not only was he obedient to the word of God he was also obedient to me. You might not know why I need to mention that. Sometimes you have disciples. They may know the word of God. They may have good understanding. But they are not obedient to instruction. And so they have to beat about the bush. And run into many troubles. Even though when they enter, they will still smear it on us. And you will still have to wash them. But if I came all the way, and I said, Joshua, that thing, I don't think you should do it again. Joshua, you don't say, oh, that's the end of it. If I say, yes, this one, I'm not sure yet. He will hold on. After some time, he says, sir, I'm still praying. We are waiting for you. It puts me under serious obligation. Obligation to make sure that I am not only correct, but I'm saying correctly. I thank God that God has led us this way. I thank God that Joshua lived and finished well. When he was going to marry, he brought his wife. 
we sat again. As to Joko, and I thank God for Funlayo. I thank God for what the Holy Spirit has done. I am just overwhelmed that God is taking my son away ahead of me. Oh, gentle. To Camilla, and I don't know how to handle that. But I've been asking God for what? Why do you do that? But all that God had been saying that He has done well, and that. This is the time that Joshua must step up. So this morning, as we conclude all things, there are a few words I thought I would share with all of you. I am not preaching for Joshua. Joshua. All that I need to have told Joshua, I did. And what he needed to do with the word of God, he did. Last year was very, very significant for me. After I had inaugurated these meetings, because he will not start it unless I came. After we have prayed and I felt okay, I have not been able to come for quite a while. But every of it I followed. But by the beginning of last year, 2019, he and his wife came to Boko. And they said, there's one request. This year, we're going to celebrate the 30th of what you inaugurated with us. You must be there. And I could not say no because I felt it was significant for me. It was going to be difficult. They were ready to change everything. Dates. And they did. Just so that I could be part of that. And I also had a very compelling call that you must be there. I must be there. And when they sent me the team, they said turning point. But once if he go go, I forgot soon. I said, "Simoni, he could it a lorry pada." That was a very prophetic word. Yes, he then Tony shape a lorry or is hotel. Turning point. I said, "What does that mean?" He could it a lorry. He kill a hati pe isi. So I kept praying and asking. Most of us, if God will have any moon, be any moon. What is this turning point? Kini could it a lorry. So I was asking God, what is it that you are talking about? But because I never could imagine that death will come. I only began to look at turning point in terms of refocusing of the work. Bringing fresh emphasis to what should be done. Moving to the higher things that God is talking about. Rearranging so as to get the best of the opportunity. Now, all of you, you are now understood that we are at a turning point. You now know that there is already a turning point. He saw it. 
even though he couldn't interpret it fully when they left MLR there was a very serious push I want it to come go and do greater things. In January again, ni January or doing here there was that push. It he to why a push for greater things. Before I want to to be jubello. And when I was coming here the, in January, Joshua kept calling over and over. Dad, are you arrived? Just have you got there? Can we come to Ondo to meet you? Can we? I said, Well, I will tell you when I'm in town. Then Joshua and Kumi Limon Lekon, Bami, Shetty Day, Molede, Okinawa, Bami, Morning Bam, Badi, also be told to Wabami. He tried for me to speak on that Sunday of 24th or 25th, something like that. But uh, I could not. Not knowing that that will be the final time. But it's okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So permit me to read three verses. And these three verses. I will only be speaking to you. And I'm praying that God will set you on your own course. And that you will finish well. It was Balak, I mean Balam, Balam, when he was prophesying. Because Balak wanted him to cause the children of Israel. In Numbers chapter 23, he said, In verse 10, he said, Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Chapter 23 and verse 10. Numbers 23 verse 10. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my end be like his. Let me die the death of the righteous. And let my end, my last end, be like his. That was the cry that Balaam made. Unfortunately, Balaam did not die the death of the righteous. What was the reason? Only the righteous in life can die the death of the righteous. Dying the death of the righteous can never be an accident. Dying the death of the righteous does not come by chance. Having your last end to be like that of the righteous can never be a gambling. Only the righteous can die the death of the righteous. And what happened to us? On that 16th of February was the demonstration of how the righteous go. How the righteous transit to glory. And when Fumi told me what happened, Fumi is to shell Fumi. Because I was coming on my way. And she said, Your son has gone to glory. 
I said, are you sure? I said, what, what are you talking about? Who, who is that? Who sent this? But when she said, that's how it is, sir. She went back to the people to Baba, but she didn't know. So, how will you die the death of the righteous? That's the first thing. There's only one way. It is to be righteous currently. It is to be righteous every day. It is to be righteous every moment. There is no other way to die the death of the righteous except if you walk in righteousness step by step day by day moment after moment you know why i'm saying that it's because of another passage that the lord has spoken about maybe mr Mr. Balaam did not know that. There is no accumulated righteousness. And say, okay, I have already kept some righteousness. I can dash out to do some wickedness. And when I'm ready, I'll go and gather what I gather. And then I will say, I have this much righteousness. I have this little wickedness. And so now that everything can balance. No! You've got to be righteous to the minute. Is the if a man had been righteous all his life. And he went back to see. All his righteousness. We be forgotten. We be cancelled. As if he had never been righteous. The only reason why we are rejoicing. Is because Joshua. Joshua walked in righteousness or in no dodo keep walking in righteousness on test man in no dodo moving in righteousness on test what you know praying in righteousness on no dodo ministry in righteousness on no dodo kneeling down to pray on pull a latic badura in righteousness no dodo not knowing lie him up that that's the final point pray the tio parisino so my first matter will you die the death of the righteous Will you want to end like the righteous? Oh, Will you want to finish well like the righteous? It cannot be a wish. It cannot be just a desire. It has to be an action. And for all of you here this morning, a parable has been said before us now. Brother Joshua had made a parable for us. How will you end? What will you end doing? What will you end doing? A man had been doing well for many years. Then suddenly, he went back. And death met him there. Nobody talk about the good thing he did. They only remember that he ended poorly. There are great preachers that were really, really preaching in those days. Their ministry was strong. But towards the end of their lives, they went into false doctrine. Every time you mention their name now, nobody remembers all the good messages they preached. They only remember the, the wrong doctrine they ended with. If you will end like the righteous, you must continuously be righteous. You must grow in righteousness. You must progress in righteousness. You must walk in righteousness. 
every day in righteousness. In the morning, in the evening, in the night, in righteousness. That's how it will be. Because the hour, no one knows. That's the first thing I want you to bear in mind. Brother Joshua has gone. We will only see him in glory. If you continue in righteousness. Did you hear what I'm saying? If you continue in righteousness. If you did not stop. If you did not Turn back. If you did not divert, then you can end like him. And because the way he left, it woke me up again. I said, Oh God, I'm tired of this life. May God help each one of us to end well. Now, what is the second passage that I want to read to speak to you as I go from here? This was Jesus himself speaking. And he spoke variously in different situations. But there are a few words that I want to call out quickly. And this will help me to again admonish you before we go. In John chapter 4, John chapter 4, the Lord Jesus had gone through Samaria. And a woman of Samaria he had encountered. Meanwhile, his disciples had gone to the city of Samaria to look for food. So when they came back, they saw Jesus that was tired when they left. They saw that his tiredness had disappeared. They saw that he was speaking to this woman. And when Jesus finished, and the woman's life was affected, she ran back to the city. Then the disciples came to Jesus. Will you not eat now? So in verse 32, chapter 4, verse 32, 33, 34, these are the words I thought I should end this, uh, this funeral way. I have meat to eat that you don't know anything about. Therefore, the disciples said one to another, Has any man brought him ought to eat? And Jesus said to them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Jesus said, Say not you, there are yet four months, and then come at harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white or ready to harvest. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Now you can see that that was evident in the life of Joshua. Sometimes I wonder how he was always very eager. There are a few times I would have said, relax. And she says, sir, no, 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 we have to do this, we have to finish this thing, we have to do that now. When he started here, he was so 
so burdened about the word of God on the radio. Oh, 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 on near to go. Lori or alone, Lori or a radio. He did all he could to get me on radio, uh, on do here, Sunshine Radio. Oh, Chebo Bonto Le Shake, King Wama was Lori or a Sunshine Radio, need Pile Ondo. Even though I knew that, even though I would start it, but he would take over. But he came on my quitting barber, I want on you, on your bar. So when I came and we started the radio on, I mean, the program on the radio, and it became difficult for me to be doing the recording. And of course, whatever I preach, I ask Joshua to follow them up. So one day I said, why don't you say, sir, do you think we should start on radio? I said, go ahead. I said, actually, you are the one to go ahead. Once you have started, you will, 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 will withdraw the other one. And that was what we did. And I was so happy yesterday when when Fonlan was here. He was saying, we're on radio shows. And he was saying, we're on radio shows. 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 We're on radio my meat and uh, me is to do the will of him so can i ask you what is your meat what exactly are you living for what do you want to be remembered for we gather like this because god had used joshua joshua and all of us can testify. And as people are coming from different parts of the country, and several will be calling in from all over the world. Because Joshua took one decision. Joshua It is the will of God I want to do. if you and I need to finish his work. When I saw the way he writes, I could only encourage me and say, Go ahead. I want to ask you, as we go to commit the body today, we go to commit the body today. What will be your meat? What will you come out from here to decide? How will you spend the whatever remain of your years? How will you end? He said, For me, is to finish his work. And in part, I just realized that he was simply saying, To finish the aspect that he has given me. The turning point has come for all of us. Those of you that sat back, I say, Pastor Joshua will do it. Joshua has gone. Joshua Those of you that are leaders of the work, did you understand the Holy Ghost speaking to you? It is time for you to arise. Never you say again. Mama, we bear more. There are yet four months. How many of you ever thought that we are going to gather like this? We are and Joshua will not be here. Joshua is Tell me, did you think so? What were you all thinking? There are yet four months. There are yet several years. Oh, we are going to do this. We are going to do that. We are going to do that. When the Lord came and said, It's enough. Come home. The program is set. If he didn't sign what he wanted to sign that night, could he ever sign it again? It's finished. The arrangement he left, 
the others that he has said, this brother will pray, this one will do this, this one will do that. And God was guiding him to do all of that. Whoever thought he would not be there. So can I say to you this morning, say no more there are four months. Say you no more there are four months. The only time you have is now. And do what you can do. Do it as if this is the last day. If you need to write, write what you need to write. Now, 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 now. If you need to go somewhere to bring the message of the word of God, when do you do it? Tell me, tell me, when that do you do it? Me. Now, me see me. let me know here. You say, hey, There are yet four months. There are yet five months. Oh, we'll have one more year. Oh, I will do it in, in, in 2025. In 2025. Stop saying what you don't know. My yes, son, Stop claiming what you don't have. The Lord Jesus never did that. The Lord Jesus, he did what he ought to do. He said, I must do the work of him that sent me while it is day. For the night comes where no man can walk. The final passage. He be to Kenya. Titus, he wait T two. Titus chapter chapter one, he wait T two. Ori ikini. This was my question. Eini beri timo beri. Because you know I don't understand. Tori kwe koye misini. Several days before. That 16th. I didn't know why God was talking to me. I have been studying Ecclesiastes and from chapter 7, 8, 9, he has been talking to me about death. Death. The one that shocked me said, No man can detain the spirit when the time for it to depart has come. And that death is a battle you can never win. I read that passage again. I said, including me. He said, no, you can't detain. And God began to give me a very dangerous, very dangerous illustration. It made me afraid. He brought me to a hedge like this. He was telling me something that was a, is fearful. It's only when you called me that my heart jumped. God said, There is only one step between life and death. And that is just like this. That actually, as you are walking like this, death is here. And any step you are there. But I have kept you in life. Like this. You've had accidents. But because it is not time for my spirit to take you off. You are moving like this. Even though death came like this. But because I have said not yet. That's why you have been in life. But at every step you are taking. Any little like this. Is on the other side. Okay, long so I said, Oh God. So did it then mean that the time for the spirit of Joshua to depart was the time that came and we couldn't stop? He said, Yes, yes, that was the time. So I now said, Lord, but why did you why not? Why did you leave me? Why? Why? 
Why? Why? Why? I have been working for many years. They are the ones that will have gathered to bury me. I want to hear ko, 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 ko si me ni. Why? Why? Why did you leave me? Oh, oh, she have me le. And that's what I want to talk to you. Only more have about song party, right? If you don't understand it, don't worry. Bo ba yo ba yo ma jang pata. But I pray you will understand. Shuba adu amini pe ko le yo. Verse five. Essay count. For this cause, let I you in crate. Nitori die yi ni moshe fiosle ni crate. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. Ki wo. Ki o le she to un ti o ku. And ordain elders in every city. Ki o si nyan wa lagba. Ni o luku luku ilu. As I had appointed you, be motive pashe for. You see, I didn't see that crate as a geographic crate. Me ori crate yi bi agbe gbe kan. Suddenly, the word crate jumped at me and said, "This crate, lo di jini oro crate yi tofu to abami." It's not somewhere in Asia or in Boko. Ki she bi kani lu Asia tabi ni Boko. I let you in light. Mo fio si le la ye ati la ye. Only for a purpose. Fui di kan. You could have gone. You are not about in law. Brother, you could have gone. Ara kuri, you are not about in law. It's just one step to go. He she said, can you fall out in law? It's just a second, you are gone. He she said, can you fall out in law? That's a song. Why was I left behind? Eh, ati she ti af mi sile. Why am I here? Eh, ati she ti mo fi wa ni hi. And as I saw that Joshua is gone, bi mo ti ri pe Joshua ma ti lo. I say so, Lord, why? 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 Why, why am I? Oluwa, eh, 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 mi le mi she ni. What am I doing here? Eh, mi le mi she ni. He said because. Oni ni to ri pe. You need to set certain things in order. Ona ti fi a un kan to ku si e to ni. There are things that are lacking in the body of Christ. There are careless things that men are doing in our time. There are empty, empty, useless uh, ways in which people are doing God's work. And we've got to set things in order. As I stop, why did God leave you here? Maybe you will need to pray that prayer. Why did you leave me here? Why not I? Why not I? And if it had been you, what shall we say? If it had been you, what shall we be talking about? If it had been you, what would be the story? As you pray with me now, I perceive. God preserved you for now. Because there is an assignment. And you must not say, I have four months. It is so that you can finish that assignment. Those of you that are working with Joshua, will you wake up? Will you wake up? That's why you have been left behind. Those things that Joshua kept talking about. Oh, we shall do this. We shall I'll do that. Say, I'll say oh, we are going to do this. Oh, we are going to go there. To lobby. There was no death in his eyes. There was vision in his eyes. There was a great future in his eyes. Not knowing. 
father he who owns time. Life. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So that others can go on. As I ask you to rise in prayer. Three issues I have raised to you. I want to meet any moment. Those three issues I want you to pray about. I want to die the death of the righteous. I want my end to be like it. And if that is your serious prayer, the only way is to walk in righteousness. Would you like to pray about that? Quickly? Would you like to check? Is there anything that I am touching? And it's, and it's not righteousness. It's not something that I can present to God. It's not something that if if anything should suddenly meet me at it, I am I'm going to be able to stand before God. Would you like to pray about that? And say, God, I want to end well. I want to finish at the right place. I want to finish where I ought to finish. I want to end where. Can you call on God for yourself? Can you please pray? Pray talk to God for yourself. Can you plead with God this morning? Even Fumi did not know that her husband was going to go that night. The discussion didn't go that way. Can you pray say, Lord, I must end well. And to end well, I must walk now in righteousness. It's not that I was in righteousness last week. I must be in righteousness today. I must be in righteousness this minute. I must be in righteousness every point. This is why you cannot condone sin. You can't keep anything that cannot come to the light. And you can't postpone your, your response to God. Call on God for yourself now. Holy Spirit, please help me to end well. Joshua left us Joshua, if you are low, without any notice. He planned a program for us. He arranged everything. He preached to the final time. He said, tomorrow morning we are going to do this. Not knowing that the, the money will meet him over there. How will you end? How will you end? Call on God and say, Lord, help me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please walk in this place. Do something for us, O God. Do a deep walk in our hearts. Thank you, Father. What is the second prayer you are praying? I must Finish the work of him that sent me. My meat is to do his work and to finish it. Say you not know there are four months. Will you like to pray? Oh, Make your will my meat. Make your work my meat. Deliver me from procrastination. Help me to stop saying four months. Help me to stop saying that there's some time. Deliver me from thinking there's some time. 
The only time I have is now. Can you pray and say, Oh God, every procrastination, every postponement, every sluggishness, everything I do and I never do anything. Lord, deliver me from that. Let me maximize my day. Let me to maximize my day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Will you set a fire of revival here? Oh, I need that this death will we wake up sleeping giants. That this death will release so many. All those that are lukewarm, they will catch fire. All those that are postponing and procrastinating their obedience. Will you cause them to arise today? Oh, those that are getting diverted. Running to make friends with those who are not going right. Thinking they can do that and come again. This money, Father, set them on fire. Set us ablaze this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. What is the third prayer you are praying? Oh Lord, why did you leave me? Why did you leave me here? Why are you leaving me in this my crate? What am I left here to accomplish? What am I left here to carry out? Why couldn't I step to eternity? Will you like to pray about that? Lord, you let me you left me here you didn't take me over because there's something I must do may I not waste your resources in my life Holy Spirit please do your work now set us on fire now thank you Father in Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, I don't know what you like to do. But me, I feel like telling you the only time you have is now. When that Saturday came, Joshua was doing everything. Joshua and she was saying, Let me just sign that thing now. He was saying, you can do it in the morning. When the service starts and they are singing, you can be signing it. Say, Let me just sign that thing now. Let me just sign it. Now. As if he saw. What is it that you need to do now? The first thing I suggest. Check where you are standing. Are you in right standing with God? Is your heart right with God? Is your heart in tune with the Lord? There are some secret things that is hindering you. Our brother led us to pray yesterday. But I feel you should pray your own prayer. If this night, this morning, you are saying, Lord, reset my life. 
reset my focus. There are no more four months. No more four months to repent. No more four months to change. No more four months to do something. Time to do it is now. While we are praying, and I want to conclude prayer. Are you are standing there, you said, Lord. On this occasion, I want, I want to renew my heart to you. I want to rededicate my heart. I want to reset my priority. I want to take a new turn. Our brother spoke about turning point. It has come. You can't do otherwise. So if you are here and the Spirit of God is urging you that this day, this day let's say to the matter let's reset your focus where are you? can you lift up your right hand and say here am I touch me change my story Thank you. Thank you. Please raise it above your head. Above your head because I'm going to pray. I'm going to set God to set you on fire. That God must renew something in you. Raise it above your head. Did you hear God saying, I left you, I left you for a purpose. And until you fulfill that purpose, you will be my debtor. Raise it up very well. God bless you. I'd like to pray now. And I want this date to mark that turning point. Nothing to postpone again. Nothing to procrastinate. If something has to be corrected, to be done today. Somewhere to go, you must go there today. A work to do, you are ready to go for it. A decision to make, you are saying, Yes, Lord. Your hands up as I pray right now. Father, Baba, set this man on fire. Father, Baba, Father, Baba. Any entanglement on their part, cut it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Father, Baba, the way you have moved in our midst, and Joshua left us like this, a parable has been left for us that anybody can go anytime. Useful men have gone. Precious men have gone. People that we thought should stay longer, they have gone. Father, Baba, set us on fire. Let there be a revival from now. In the name of Jesus, every gift that have been lying dormant in the heart of several here we steer it in the name of Jesus every obedience that was procrastinated we have agreed this morning that we are rising to obey you prompt obedience immediate obedience sincere obedience in the name of Jesus Christ from this morning 
As we cast the body of our brother to the ground, and you have left us to walk on top of the soil, we only walk to do your will. We are going from here to do your will. We are going from here to do your will and to finish your work in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. And all these hands that have been lifted to you. Father, put your hand in their hands. Please, Lord, raise them up right now. Raise them up, O God. That they may finish well. That when time comes, they will also die the death of the righteous. Their own end will also be like that of the righteous. And the work you gave them to do, they will finish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen.